Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Forza Horizon 4 where today we're going to be trying something a little bit different. So for those of you who do not know already, uh, I do regularly stream Forza over on Twitch uh, a couple times a week. I also stream some variety games on the weekends. And a few days ago, I actually brought back a feature where people could use channel points to request me to use a specific car and tune for a race or two. And one of those cars, which was requested, was right here, the 2015 Chevrolet Corvette Z06, which... You know, the car on its own is not the interesting thing about this. The thing that is interesting about the request, which I received from a regular viewer in my Twitch chat, is uh, the actual tune itself. So we're going to go ahead, take a look. So taking a look over at the currently selected tune, you can see that the creator is Cast Haste, if you would like to try it yourself. And the name of this specific tune is the Dirt Vet. So from the name alone, you can probably infer, and probably from the title of this video, exactly what this whole tune is entirely about. So today we're gonna take a look at how it stacks up against a lot of the other S1 meta dirt cars. Okay, so now that we are on dirt, you can see that, uh, I mean, this car, it handles immediately better than you would probably expect just at a quick glance. And the thing that I think really helps this car out is that because it sits so low to the ground and it's pretty flat in a way, like if you just kind of look at the Corvette in general, it's a pretty flat kind of car. It really is very solidly planted and it just goes exactly where you want it to. It doesn't really slide around a whole lot, even though it's on dirt. I will say that the one thing that could be the downfall for this car and would probably prevent it from really being an S1 meta vehicle on the dirt is the fact that uh, the suspension isn't really that giving. So if you get into any kind of bumps or jumps, this car is going to be quite a handful to control, but it's still got a lot of speed everywhere else, which means that for certain tracks, it's probably still completely viable. Not to mention that because it is a Corvette, even though this tune is specifically meant for dirt, it's still pretty tolerable on uh, on the asphalt here. You can see that the AI does get a better top line speed than I do, but that's completely okay because most dirt tracks they're gonna be racing on probably aren't that based around high speed. They're probably based around little technical sections such as this one we're entering right now, where you really have a lot of tight corners, some fast sweeping corners, but not really a lot of really long straightaways. And once you get really comfortable with this thing, you can kind of just toss around corners, much like you can with something like the RS200, with the only real downside, of course, being that again, the suspension is not that forgiving so as long as it's a really flat corner you can still get away with it but if the corner has any kind of real incline you do have to be a bit careful because all it takes is hitting a small little bump that could basically put this car on its roof also just a quick disclaimer of course you're probably noticing me uh not having the best driving ability here i will say i am for some reason not good with the brakes when it comes to this car as you'll see coming into this corner i'm getting on the brakes very early just to be a bit conservative with it that might just be something to do with the tune itself it could just be that uh, i'm a bit too aggressive and i'm used to something like the rs200 when i'm driving in dirt so that's going to be basically what the big comparison will be uh you could compare this to the rs200 you could also compare this to the jeep trail cat as that is also pretty much one of the top dogs when it comes to S1 dirt races in this game. And as I continue up finishing this race, again, I would just like to remind you that if you would like to suggest any kind of wacky tunes or builds, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to read those. Also, like I said, you can stop by my Twitch channel and uh, stop by, use some channel points, redeem any kind of request, and we'll give it a shot right then and there. And you could also join in on those races. So if you get some kind of wacky build that's actually really hard to control, ironically, or some kind of meme car, you can show off how good you actually are with it, or you can just show that uh, it's a lot of pure mayhem. We've had a few of those in the last few days. Okay, so I finally got the final turn right that time, coming to the white flag. I will say I'm still not great with the brakes when it comes to this thing. You can see here I'm still sliding out a bit much. Um, that's just a driver error. I would not blame that on the car or the tune at all. I'm pretty sure that's just because uh, this is actually the first race I've done so far today. So not really have any warm-up here today to get ready for this thing and then one final time through the dirt section i would try to do this flat out but i've kind of already lifted just slightly but if i try the rest of the section flat out before we actually get to the hairpin down here you'll see i mean you can keep your foot in it the car will point itself in the right direction eventually and you just get down here hard on the brakes and uh that's how i actually managed to get through there pretty cleanly so like i said it's not probably going to beat necessarily the top meta cars but that is what we're going to test out here in just a moment but it is pretty fun trial and just because it's kind of gimmicky i mean as we smack into that wall yet again nobody really expects a corvette like this anyways to uh really perform all that well in dirt so you can kind of catch people off guard and we are handily going to bring home in first place which i would expect i mean the ai are nothing you know to write home about but it is just a quick kind of comparison that this car is not hard to control by any means even though you probably wouldn't expect it to be easy so some of you may remember that I have made a video doing the Rivals event for the quarry in S2 using the RS200 where I got top 5 in the world. Feel free to check out that video now if you have not seen it. But today what we're going to be trying is we're going to take the Corvette into S1 onto the quarry. And after about 10 to 20 laps, we're just going to see where we end up in the rankings. 
I'm not necessarily going to push all the way and try to get like top five in the world, especially if it's uh, pretty far off or anything. I'm just trying to get a baseline comparison of where this actually is compared to some of the meta cards that I'm sure are at the top of the leaderboard. Okay, so getting started here, of course, the car that we're going up against as a ghost obviously has a head start, so we're going to be high behind on the very first lap. The one thing that I would like to point out is that, of course, like I said, the suspension on this thing is not very forgiving. So that is probably going to be the ultimate downfall, and that is also why I've chosen this track, because there is, you know, the big giant jump, which kind of determines the entire uh, lap at the end. But what I've done so far is I've set the Ghost as the 25th best time in the world in S1. We're going to see if I can beat it. I'm going to give it about 10 to 20 laps, somewhere in between there. If I can't reach it, that's fine. This is kind of just a baseline comparison, and uh, I'll check back with you in a moment. Okay, so coming to the second lap, so the first lap where we actually have a sort of fair start, you can see that the Jeep is, of course off to a much better start than myself. Pretty much all of the cars in the top even 50, I think, were basically all Jeeps, for the most part, the Jeep Trailcat. There was a Rally Fighter or two in there also. I'm not exactly uh, sure if this car is gonna be able to put up a fight against it, but we're gonna see if we can get at least reasonably close, because like I said, it's not probably gonna compete against the meta cars, which the Jeep Trailcat and S1 definitely is kind of the top dog. It still might be pretty fun and, could, and it could be pretty competitive, especially if you're just playing around with your friends, trying to find something a bit different to try. You can still find a car that's pretty comparable, even though it's probably not going to set the world on fire. Okay, so we send ourselves across the jump. We actually get a bit sideways, which we do want to do. You do want to kind of point towards the right coming off that. We're off by quite a margin there, though. We're off by, what is that? Three and a half seconds? All right, I'm going to try it again. Like I said, 10 to 20 laps. We'll see if we can beat that. But it's looking like this might be lacking a bit of oomph actually required to get to the top of the leaderboard. So the biggest problem section actually that I'm noticing is over the little crest when we're going uphill towards where the fence normally is. Of course, in the, in the Rivals event, it doesn't reset, so eventually it just kind of disappears. Um, that's the big section where I'm losing a lot of time because I'm trying not to send myself up into the air because if I do that, this car is not going to handle landings all too well. Whereas the Trailcat's a bit more forgiving. It's got a bit more weight probably, so it's easier for you to kind of get over that crest with as much speed as you want without actually taking off. This thing's not quite as forgiving. And you can also see that just kind of throughout the sort of lap, we're definitely starting off with less speed than the Jeep Trail Cut does itself. I do have an idea for that in a second. And you know what? Because I uh, somehow just invalidated this lap time, I'm going to show you guys as we come around this time what my strategy is going to be. And we're going to see if potentially that actually gets me anywhere. Okay, so coming to the jump, instead of absolutely sending it, I'm not really going to try and go fast here at all. I'm just going to get towards the edge, slam on the brake. And this is where the gimmicks come in when it comes to rivals. So you want as much speed as possible. So what we're going to do, back up quite a bit, and we're going to try and get a head start. Because uh, we're already losing speed right off the bat, which means that we're coming to the line a lot slower than the Trailcat is. So if we can't even beat it there, there's not really much chance of us competing throughout the rest of the lap. Okay, so coming to the line this time, you can see it's still faster than us, but we are slightly closer than we had been. That being said, I feel like maybe that's not going to be quite enough. The Trailcat just does seem to have better traction through the straightaway than we do. Okay, we're keeping our foot in it through the uh, little left-hander there up the crest. That was very nice. I am having trouble with this corner because uh, well, with that specific corner because I'm trying to keep my foot in it, but the car really wants to kind of hang wide there, which causes us to lose a lot of speed. I'm just going to send it this time over this and hope that it sticks. And, uh, well, it probably would have sticked, but unfortunately, we did lose our side mirror there in the process. And you'll see that is actually half a second faster. You know what? Our lap time is kind of invalidated because we did make a collision, but I can live with that. I feel like low 45s is probably the optimal speed for this specific build. And we have gotten very sideways off the jump. You know what? All right, that's that lap's also invalidated. We're just going to call it there. I feel like we're struggling to really improve on this time, which already says that we're too far behind to really put up a fight against the top 25 here. So I'm going to switch over to the RS200 and give that a few laps and just see if uh, there's some immediate improvement. Okay, so coming to the real first lap, considering the original first lap doesn't actually mean much, unfortunately, here. You can see that the Trailcat still definitely has a much better launch than we do just coming to the line. But uh, we're not really comparing ourselves against the Trailcat so much as we are against our original time with the Corvettes. And we're just going to see if we can stick a little bit closer to the Trailcat than we were previously. Okay, so definitely not having the best lap in the world. I did get a bit cockeyed coming over the, uh, the little crest back there, so probably lost a little bit of time. But we're going to see, we're going to send it off the ramp and not hesitate whatsoever, which just cost me the lap time, unfortunately. But we're going to see where this is roughly, even with the collision. Okay, so it's pretty slow. We did just run through all the fences there, which probably cost us a fair bit. I'll do a few more laps with this just to see. There's a chance that maybe the Corvette's actually pretty comparable to this, and it could just be that the trail catch just completely busted. Okay, so we have gotten very sideways 
coming off the final jump. That is not ideal. I really don't think we're actually improving the time. I don't know. I feel like I've been comfortable with the RS200 here before. But again, this is not the like the actual RS200. Of course, we have this one. And then we have the Hoonigan. So this one's obviously not the, uh, the best one here. This is like the little brother version of the RS200, which is very good. But uh, I still figured I'd give it a shot. I'm going to give it one more lap after this one just to see if I can put up a slightly better time. And then it will probably end it there. All right, coming to the line, that was our best lap so far with this thing, but it is still slower than we actually did with the Corvette, which, if anything, should go to show that, you know, obviously this isn't the fastest car in the world either when it comes to dirt, but it does show that the Corvette is very comparable. And that's kind of really the whole idea of this video. I'm not trying to say, like I said at the start, that it's like a meta vehicle or anything, because uh, the Trail Cat kind of is just in a field of its own when it comes to any kind of cross country race or dirt that's in this style where you have big jumps and anything that requires some forgiving suspension. But the fact that I'm struggling to actually beat the lap that I did with the Corvette with this RS200, which is probably my most used dirt car, probably says a lot. It means that the car is more than comparable and uh, you can probably have a lot of fun with it as this will be the final lap we're gonna try. This should be pretty close to our best, if not our best so far. Can we do a 45? And uh, we will. So you know what? What is that? That's a few tenths off at most from the Corvette, which means given a few more laps, I could probably get them pro uh, pretty evenly. So let's just uh, call it there. Okay, so I am going to end it there. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like I said, the point of this video wasn't to necessarily show that the Dirt Corvette could actually compete with the Metacars. It was kind of just to see whether or not it could, and clearly it's not quite there, but it's more than comparable when it comes to racing on dirt. And considering the fact that I never would have expected that, I just figured I'd share it with you guys. It was a very interesting tune that was shared by one of our regulars in Twitch chat. And uh, I just thought maybe you guys would be interesting and try it out yourself. Do let me know about other tunes you would like to see on this channel or uh, just join the Twitch chat at some point and then recommend your builds over there. We can try them out. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Feel free to give this tune a shot for yourself. If you've made it this far and you have enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like or subscribe if you're new around here. It would really help me out a lot. And yeah. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next one.